So what is Roverfy and what issue does it actually solve? Well, give me 60 seconds and I'll tell you every single thing you need to know. So let's jump in here into my magic whiteboard to go over all this. First thing is going over the pain point, okay? The pain point is you have a SaaS, meaning you have support tickets, okay? People ask questions, it's normal. Now you use one of two things, either human support or AI chatbot support, okay? And both of these are great. As long as humans know exactly what your product does, what every single feature does, what each button does, and they can explain in detail and clarify any questions your customers might have, well, it's amazing. Same thing for AI chatbot, right? As long as the AI chatbot has all the context about your SaaS, well, it's able to solve any issue any customer might have. But the thing is that oftentimes, and I'd say 99.9% of times, both humans and AI chatbots lack one thing. That one thing is context, right? Let's go over the second one right here. AI chatbots usually are connected to your documentation, okay? Documents, docs, okay? And I'll give you a tangible example here in our own SaaS because I think it's important that I give you tangible examples on how all this works. If you open up here our help docs, this page gives users an insight on how every single one of our feature works, how every single flow works. It has step by steps. He has FAQs going over every single thing. And so then when we connect this little AI chatbot right here, right, and people ask questions, well, it takes into account the context of our documentation. So every single thing that we wrote here manually, all these guides, all these step by steps, all these images, all these videos, right? has enough context so that any question people might ask here on the AI chatbot can easily be answered in a quick, concise, but most importantly, correct manner. Now, the issue becomes when the docs become outdated. Well, you release a new feature, you change the UI, you change the UX, you change where the button is. Well, then what you have to do is go and update the documentation or write new articles. I'll give you an example. This documentation was written last year. And since then, we changed our name. We're now named Arvo, okay? Our UI changed a lot. Our app does not look like this at all. There's stuff that's not here. There's new stuff that we added. So all this is incorrect. And so what happens when you feed incorrect data onto a human or onto an AI chatbot? Well, the answers it's gonna give people are wrong. And so that's precisely the main thing Roverfy fixes, right? It has AI agents that log in onto your app, test every single feature, click every single button, test every single edge case, every single flow, right? Have all the context there is about your app. Even things you might not even thought about, they have all the context because they log in and test every single thing. And then after that, they feed, right? All this context onto your AI chatbot. And then the AI chatbot has all the context it needs to answer your customers. And so Roverfy is not an AI chatbot. Roverfy is what's behind it. Roverfy uses AI agents to give context to your AI chatbot, which is something we all need because an AI chatbot or even human, they will not do a good job if they don't have enough or if they don't have the correct context. And so by having these AI agents, right, by deploying thousands of AI agents onto your site, we deploy thousands that use and understand your product, they'll have all the context they need to then feed it onto your chatbot so the chatbot can answer the customer queries without any single issue. And that's exactly the problem we faced and how we fix it. That's it. That's what Roverfy does. So if this interests you, well, either click here on getting a demo and we'll speak directly with me and see how we can integrate this onto your SaaS or just click on get started and give it a go for yourself. No commitment, there's a free plan. So. That's it. Thank you so much for watching all the way through and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.